What's going on everybody? My white mama 84 here. That stuff had me in stitches last night. I that was a good skit from Mad TV. Um I couldn't get this game to boot regularly with the uh VGA trick. Um but I got it on the little mini monitor here. Uh yeah, this is the Ring Terror's Realm and for some reason, I've just kind of psychologically blocked this game and the movies just from my whole existence. It's not like even like I'm trying to. Um, I feel like growing up, Power Rangers was kind of forced at us because it, you know, I was when I was young, I had different stuff. It was kind of like um, when I was super young, coming out of it, like the uh, GI Joe, He-Man stuff and Transformers stuff was kind of at its last throes. And then I had the real Ghostbusters, and I kind of was going through when the real Ghostbusters, like Garfield and Friends, was coming out, stuff like that, like Gumby, uh, you know, like uh, early, early, early Nickelodeon with you can't do that on television and stuff like that. And then I grew up with like the good stuff, like you know the Doug Rugrats, Red and Stimpy era, that all, all of that awesome stuff. And then um, for some reason, just during the whole Dreamcast heyday and stuff, we got this game. And, uh, yeah, I, like those movies, uh, The Ring and The Grudge and stuff like that, uh, I guess uh, Saw came out, like, uh, soon thereafter. I think it was, like, 2003 when Saw came out. It could be the same era. I don't know. But um, I like the classic, guys. I, I like the classics. I like Freddy Krueger. I like the Wes Craven stuff. I like the people under the stairs. I like um, the Frank Hennenlauter stuff. The Basket Case, Brain Damage, and Frankenhooker. That stuff is so hokey and schlocky. It's awesome. I love the Evil Dead and Evil Dead, um, uh, the, the um, Army of Darkness. Uh, the second one, a lot of people like the second one for different reasons, but uh, I don't know. I like, I like the first one in the Army of Darkness the best out of those. And uh, just, I, I, I like the, the mascots and the uh, dark humor and stuff. Uh, the Ring is more of a serious, like, dark and brooding game. Uh, dark and bro brooding uh, movie, I suppose. Um, yeah, I've, I've seen The Ring and I've seen The Grudge. I've seen the American version of The Grudge. I think uh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer was in that, wasn't it? Sarah Michelle Gellar, was that her name? I think I think that's her name. But, um, yeah. Uh, yeah, I remember when the Xbox and the PlayStation 2 and stuff, like, after the Dreamcast tanked, uh, people were playing games like Dead to Rights and Buffy the Vampire Slayer, and um, there was other games and stuff, uh, some of those top-down Marvel games and stuff. Um, but, um, yeah, man, I, I'm feeling pretty good, man. I, I made a salad because I had some of those collard greens left over, and I put some organic balsamic vinaigrette on the salad as well as... Uh, um, uh, broccoli. I have some broccoli left over, and I ran out of tomatoes, but that's okay because I put some almonds and walnuts on the salad, and just had a good little simple salad. I made oatmeal on the side, and then I had some uh, mud jewel dates, and um, I ate a couple of those on the side, three or four. And I'm getting to the point where I am tolerating mud jewel dates. I thought they tasted kind of like a little odd. It's I think it's, it's uh, grown in Mexico, and it's just like uh, a lot of stuff that's grown in Mexico. It's just we're not used to it here in the states. We just we, you know, I don't know. We, we'll we'll eat something that was made in Brazil, like some uh, clementines or something. But uh, when it comes to you know, our own neighbors here in Mexico, we don't. I don't know. It's just uh, I, I I avoid the Latino foods in the grocery stores and stuff. But um, I don't know. Maybe I need to broaden my uh, food portfolio. But um, it, I'm kind of disheartened by Cheerios because uh, on you know they say it's heart healthy and all of this. And I think there's stuff in Cheerios called like tocopherols or something or some sort of garbage. I I, don't, I think it's like a, it's it's the same stuff that's in a lot of like chemical cleansers and stuff. I liked a video here recently, so you could probably find it on my liked videos about um, just uh, how bad that stuff is. You know, there's metal shavings and stuff from the. Uh, manufacturing facilities and stuff and um I, i've gone the longest not eating cereal but then i just kind of wanted to eat some of that semi-sweet stuff so I'm, I'm trying to eat organic and stuff but um man my heart sinks man because it's just like all of the adulterated foods and stuff and like here you are thinking that you're doing good they say on the like front of the thing oh it's really good for you and all of this but 
General Mills and Kellogg's, we need to boycott them because uh, Kellogg's was uh, funding uh, circumcision and that, that whole like um, saying, like all of that misinformation and stuff like that, they really don't have our best interest in mind. They put metal shavings in there. It causes early onset Alzheimer's and stuff, just like memory loss and stuff. You know, because, you know, things accumulate in the body and, um, you know, when it comes to soft metals and stuff, that stuff collects in your brain. And uh, just, you know, the, we really need to spread knowledge. We we need benevolent leaders to keep these things from our shelves. And just, we need, like, actual information and stuff presented to us as opposed to uh, all this garbage. I, it just makes my heart sink. Um, yeah, the uh, this game itself it is joining the club of my little games that don't have the manuals. I thought I had, um, I was missing the manual for Carrier, but I'm going to have to track that down and then track this one down, but it's easier said than done, because I've said for the longest time, like it was a long time ago where I said, hey, I don't have the manual for Carrier, I'm going to need to track that down. Well, I haven't, and I'm sure that there's extra car uh, manuals probably. People probably sell uh, manuals and stuff. Um, um, I'm a big fan of some of that reproduction stuff, but uh, a lot of times if you're looking on eBay, it's reproduction game ca uh, game manuals in cases, and uh, just mostly cases. Uh, I think a lot of people have OCD and they want to put Dreamcast games in DVD cases for some reason. I think it looks horrible. I, I'm a purist when it comes to the jewel case, because uh, who doesn't like CDs? That's what jewel cases are the most popular, uh, popularly known for. Uh, the Ring, Terror's Realm. Um, I think you could probably use some of your discernment and uh, go ahead and call the shots about uh, this game being... Um, it, it's at least middle of the road or worse. Um, I've never sat down and played it. It could be a pretty good game. I just... Uh, it, it, it hasn't... It has not stand the... Uh, it hasn't stood the test of time, is what I'm trying to say. But uh, yeah, that movie was kind of crazy where the uh, the little girl with the long hair comes out of the uh, the well and there's a VHS tape and uh, you're supposed to say Beetlejuice three times in the mirror and then Candyman comes out and kills you with a machete. Oh wait, am I conflating things? I don't know, maybe not. I think Chucky was in there. Not Chuck, not the, uh, not the um, Chucky that we all know and love, but we're talking about Chucky Finster from Rugrats coming back from the dead to, you know, uh, avenge something. Uh, I was trying to think of that uh, PAL game with that... Uh, I'll just put an overlay down, but there's a, a PAL game with a um, uh, Chucky-looking guy, and, and that goes for crazy amounts of money out there. And, yeah, other than that, I don't know. We're just kind of touching base. I got work here in a little while. Um, yeah, I just got out of the shower, so uh, it's, it's one of those where it's, like, humid outside, and then you get... You get out of the shower and you still got water on you, but then that water kind of, it's gross. It turns into sweat or something, or I, I don't know, but um, it's just, it, it just is what it is. I'm trying to like make sure sweat droplets don't drop everywhere and stuff, but uh, I, I feel like most of that's evaporated. But uh, the ring, Terror's Realm, let's get into this. It's not too bad, even as a prototype, the force. on the soundtrack of this game because uh, that was dope at the beginning. It was like, no, 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 no. I dig that kind of stuff, man. Uh, you guys, that, that's a whole different side of me that I need to share with the world, man. I just need some of that. It's stuff that uh, geishas listen to, you know, memoirs of a geisha or something. Uh, <laughs> what's that stuff? Kimonos and uh, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. Let's get it. Let's tap into some of that. Okay. I'll get ready. Promise? Promise. Bye for now. Well, who the hell does she think she is? Hmm? She hasn't any idea of how important this project is. But Zadako. Puberty. 
puberty happen. Pubert. Oh, Robert. You didn't sound so pleased, even though it's been quite a while since we spoke. He's absolutely missed a thick head, even on my last birthday. Well, today is the day he huh. has to make up for it. I think we're just going to have to do it that way. And that's just a... Hey! Hey, miss. No, I'm sorry, you can't come in oh. here. No, 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 no. Get no. out of here. Or do you live here? What's happened, officer? What's happened, officer? No, I, I'm asking you a question. Do you live here? Hello? <laughs> miss? <laughs> Fuck out! Hello? Hey. No, 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 hey, no. stop, lady. All these crazy white people. <laughs> What's happening here? Now hold on a moment, sir. I know the two of them. They're friends. What happened? Uh. I don't believe this. Yeah. Oh, Meg. Could you explain your relationship to either her or the victim? Yeah, I know the two of them. They're both my friends. <laughs> I'm Jack, and this is Robert's girlfriend, Meg. Isn't this a murder? Okay. It's unlikely Fair to be a homicide now. case. Not a murder? Then what's that? Did you see his face? What's happened? Oh my god! Well, we'll get to the bottom of this. I'm still alive. I'll work for this company without you, Robert. I shouldn't mourn your death forever. Right. Wow, so uh, this might just be my new favorite game because of the unintentional funniness. But we are Meg right now, and uh, the opening cinematic kind of reminded me of um, Ill Bleed, actually. I love the, um, you know, House of the Dead 2 type of, like, horrible voice narration and just the unintentional funniness. I'm getting, like, an X-Files vibe, because I've been watching a lot of X-Files, so... Um, is this kind of a influenced by X-Files? Because... Uh, I mean, there's times where I look at Dana Scully, you know, Gillian Anderson, and I'm just like, man, what, what is, what is about her? Why did I, why was I crushing on her of all people? But I guess it's just different scenes and different angles and different stuff. Cause like, I don't, there's other times where I'm looking at her and I'm like, dang, she is, man, I just really like that, you know. I guess I got a thing for redheads, cause like there was Peggy Bundy and then her. Only I'd like to think that she's a real woman, you know. I use the D-pad to move Meg around. Megan with an H. M-E-G-H-A-N. Meg Han. Han. Solo. <laughs> a solo mission. Solo cup mission. Yeah, she moves around real sluggish. She, uh, she takes a while, you know. Hey, it's like, okay. <laughs> I'm just thinking about her haircut, and I'm thinking about how uh, all of the girls wanted the Rachel from Friends haircut. Isn't it crazy how women, just, they just like, one of them comes across something, and then all of a sudden all of them are wearing Ugg boots, you know? It's stupid. You don't see guys going around, like, doing, doing stuff like that, that herd mentality stuff. <laughs> don't touch the computer, it's got, uh... Sensitive files, um, yeah. There's <laughs> there's definitely a virus on that computer. Yeah, there's a pretty deep story from the looks of it, and... Yeah, I don't really have the patience to really get into the um, story like that. I'm not engaged because I 
have not been properly introduced to these characters. I just kind of know them from the um, cinematic, from the opening cinematic and stuff. So uh, you must get on the computer. I'm sure. Is that a laptop? I see a floppy disk, so it's got to be. Yeah. I miss I, I miss those floppy disks, man. Is there gonna be a, a spooky ghost? Spooky ghost with their spooky ghost butts. Jason Steele. <laughs> Filmcal.com. Oh, I, I was um, I had to move some cables because of this little TV. You know how I got to move it around. And I had the microphone in it. And the microphone hit the ground, hit the floor, and uh, it like kind of ripped a little hole in the microphone foam piece. And I was really upset about it, but. Uh, you know, I can't stay too upset for too long. Stuff like that happens. It's just this stuff is antiquated, like I'm saying. And uh, I better enjoy this like Dreamcast stuff while I can. I got enough systems and I got enough copies of games and stuff, so I kind of future-proofed things for myself. So I'll be playing Dreamcast games for the rest of my life. But you know, I mean, I I, I want to keep things in as best co uh, you know cosmetic condition as I can. Was she in some VR simulator? She can't leave that stupid room. She's doing um, PlayStation VR right now. She's playing Roller Coaster Dreams. She's playing somebody else's uh, pre made roller coaster, which is pretty sweet. She's playing that little zombie game. That hilarious zombie game where you gotta like avoid the zombies for as long as you can. I need to play some of that a little bit more. I just I, I play it every now and then. A whole lot of story with this one. I, and to be honest with you, I just don't care. L trigger, flashlight, okay, cool. I don't remember this game at all. Okay, so it's kind of like Resident Evil. I'm going to compare everything to Resident Evil because I just re reviewed those games, right? Um, yeah, with the right trigger on the Dreamcast and stuff, or like holding the left trigger, that's, that's what you do to fire your weapon. You got to hold it. Yep. A button. I think you hit like the X button on uh, Resident Evil, but I, I could probably be wrong. Um, shoot with the R trigger and A button. Okay, cool. Alright. Guys, I really don't know why I totally forgot this game because I don't remember playing it to begin with. Maybe I never played this game. I mean, this might be a game to check out for the funny cutscenes. I hope there's cutscenes throughout. There should be, right? Man, this is just like Resident Evil, isn't it? It's kind of like later in the day. It's like 6 or 7 p.m. Perfect time. It was kind of like raining earlier, and I heard uh, I heard it thunder a little bit. And I was thinking if the power goes out, that's actually kind of a good thing for this review, because that would be something interesting where I could be like, wow, this game is haunted or something like that. Is there a run button? Oh, there is. Yeah, it's the uh, X button does the running. But you can't have the flashlight on for too long, or else ghosts, will, spooky ghosts, will come out and say, "Can you play slots or something? Can you play a um, X Men arcade over here? There better be a turbo cabinet over here. I tell you what." This makes me think of Outlast on PS4. Have you guys ever played Outlast? Oh yeah, um, Gollum Cone just uh, messaged me about the Mandela Effect, and uh, I am very skeptical about it. I think that it's just kind of um, an, a, a CIA psyop, because the person who came up with the term Mandela Effect is a witch. I'll put a little overlay of the lady, I suppose. Um, Gillips here, yes. A button is the select button, which I, which is what I like over having to use the X button, because it's what I'm used to, you know. And yeah, um, yeah I have a theory about the, uh, you know, the whole confusion with Sinbad being in a genie movie, because there was like a three-part Are You Afraid of the Dark, uh, I, I believe it was a three-parter, 
um, it was like a Halloween special, and I remember when I was a kid, um, it, he kind of played like a haunted pirate or something like that. And I can see how people can get uh, confused with, you know, watching something and then being like, yeah, there totally was a Sinbad movie where he was a genie. Because you, you would think that he would be, because he kind of, you know, he was a good character actor. He was in a lot of good stuff. He's in Jingle All the Way and whatnot. Now I tapped the left trigger and now the flashlight went off. Now I can't see anything. This is kind of uh, frustrating. But, um... Yeah, you know, Shaquille O'Neal was in Kazam, and I think there's just confusion because people would confuse, you know, two popular guys like, um, like those two, you know. Shaquille O'Neal, Shaq, and Sinbad both start with S's. It's easy to confuse. It's just really hard to see, guys. Yeah, you know, as far as the Bernstein Bears and the Bernstein Bears, I think that it's just kind of a um, mix-up with, uh, you know, how... People read stuff and that, you know, you can pretty much rearrange the inside letters of a word and still get the meaning. You can just, like, read, you know, and, and get the, the, the crux of, you know, the, the, the meaning behind a lot of um, what is intended to be understood. And um, I, I could have sworn it was Baron Steen. S-T-E-I-N, but uh, it's S-T-A-I-N, and uh, I doubt that, you know, there's the ability to go back in time and uh, alter things and stuff like that, because it's just, that would be just impossible. I, I, I don't think that uh, you can do that. I think you can mess with our perceptions in the now moment. Yes, yeah, sure. You can totally mess with our perceptions. You can gaslight us, and I think that's what we're do we're being. I think that's what's being done is we're being gaslit, and because it's all about mundane stuff, it's not about big stuff. Now, if there was a Mandela effect thing that was happening, like, you know, that, that that told us something serious, you know, like it would be crazy if there was like, oh, 9/11 didn't happen, and there's people who are, who are like, I was alive then, like I 9/11 didn't happen, nobody ever talked about it or anything. But no, it's like undeniable, 9/11 happened. But um, that wouldn't be a Mandela effect. See that they're 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 going for the low hanging fruit, like the stuff like a there's a dash and Kit Kat. Oh, there wasn't a dash and Kit Kat, or Chick Fil A was spelled different, you know. I swear it was spelled different, you know. I mean, of course there's going to be people who swear up and down that there's stuff like that, so. There aren't any enemies here. Okay, what is this? This is stupid. Yes, yes. She's speaking my mind. This is stupid. I want to like this, though, because of the uh, cheesiness. Oh, man, this game is way too dark. How do I shoot? Dang, dang, have it. Do I not have my weapon equipped? This is... Hit the start button to see if I can do anything. Yeah, it is equipped. It was right trigger in A is what you gotta do. Did I shoot it? Let me run away. I can't see nothing. Okay. This game is just impossible right now. Is that person coming? The, the enemy? Oh, here it is. How do you... Oh, yeah, there was a way to um, get first-person view, and I think it was the left trigger. And I, I'm just confusing the um, controls. It's way too dark for starters now. Instead of just going around in like kind of a catacomb maze like this, um, it would be better to just kind of hold hold your hand and uh, kind of baby you until you have to learn the hard way like that. And um, using words like catacombs makes me makes me think of. Um, like, I used to watch Beyond Bizarre back in the 90s, and it's crazy how, like, if you want to watch that whole series, you cannot come across it. It's not on YouTube. There might be an episode or two. You can get a VHS tape for, like, 20 bucks, but if you want the entire series, it's not on DVD, it's not on Blu-ray, it's 
on VHS, there's only one listing on eBay, and it's like $240 or something like that. Now, my nostalgia is strong, but not that strong, guys. I mean, I got good memories watching that show. I, I, I love Beyond Bizarre. I think uh, I miss Shark Week back when they used to actually have stuff about sharks, like programming, like 24-7. Like for a whole week, like the whole week was Shark Week. Here on the Dreamcast 84 channel, we miss Beyond Bizarre and we miss Shark Week back when Shark Week was actually about sharks and was more hardcore about being about sharks. Because some of that programming about sharks was actually kind of like riveting and like I, I remember going to the beach on Shark Week and being scared of sharks. It, I mean, that, that's good memories, man, just being s scared about sharks. See, Resident Evil was better than this. I'm sorry, even though you can hit the A button to select stuff. I just want to pick stuff up. What does a... What does a woman named Meg have to do to pick up generic boxes that we don't know what the boxes are, but uh, they're probably ammo or something? What do we got to do? Whose toes do you have to suck to pick up generic, ubiquitous boxes? You don't know. You don't know. Whose old, dirty Rothschild foot do you have to suck to pick up whatever the crap that that is? Which, which I think there was a gun on there. Yeah, that's totally bullets. It's got a deer on it. I mean, like, that's like... Oh, you found the handgun bullet. Pick up? Yes, 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 yes. Got it. Okay, I got lucky that time. I hit A. Nasty old Rothschild feet. That's a bad time. Yeah, I'm just booting up the VMU backup CD, and I was just thinking, like, what if my audio is being sent to some sort of database, some CIA NSA database, and they heard me say, nasty old Rothschild feet. And then they, you know, they got their little New World Order plan, and then they're going to do their, their crap. Which they're not going to do because they're stupid. But, you know, and they, 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 they set me up for some guillotine. Like, they got us all lined up, but then they come across my name. Like, oh, oh, wait a minute. Wait, oh, you did all these Dreamcast reviews. You were talking about the Rothschilds, weren't you? I'd be like, you darn straight I am because you guys own, uh, you know, you guys could have done better, you know. You know, you could like solve all the world's problems, but you just want to just create a bunch of pain and suffering. And like, you guys are evil. But they're going to be like, well, we remembered you told the truth because we don't like truth. And, you know, that's why we got, uh, like, you know, they got weird names. Like, uh, I, th I think one of them's like Jacob Rothschild or something, or uh, De Delano Roosevelt Rothschild. And then they, they, he, he's just sitting in a corner with like his bunion corn feet just displayed out. Like, you know, he, he's like, I was running all day. And then he takes off his socks and it's just, just horrible. And they're like, you know, they're going to kill me anyway, but they're going to tell me that they're not just to get me to suck those toes. Because it, it, and it's not even a sexual thing. It's like, a, we're doing this on principle. We're doing this because cause we hate uh, truth. We hate freedom. You know what I mean? With my luck, I'd have to suck some dirty old Rothschild feet before I die. With my luck. <laughs> like I got like the most hard. I'm probably gonna live a full awesome life and never suck a toe like ever. Like I, I really, that's my goal. That's like my end goal. That's my bucket life. Just to, that'd be the last thing I'd check off on my bucket list. Um, just live a full life without a, a, one single toe in my mouth at all. This is a very funny uh, subject by the way. Try not to think of Nickelodeon, okay? Like, just, just close your eyes. Okay, you ready? You ready? <laughs> I love it. Oh, uh, yeah, there's a song called Winslow's Daughter that was made by the guy from uh, Sick Animation. Uh, Mark M, M-A-R-C-M. That's the guy from Sick Animation. And he, he did the song called Winslow's Daughter, and I recommend checking that out. That's a really good song. It's about... Um, it's about when Carl Winslow's daughter and how uh, Steve Urkel wants her to be his pet. Yeah, this, uh, it's, this is not a good game just because you can't play it that well. And here I... Oh, let's go... Wait, that's the men's room, right? Let's go to the men's room. 
is is this one of those like past games where it doesn't matter like you know is this the target restroom of video games let's see can we yeah you can go in the men's room I wonder if it's like Silent Hill where there's a hole in the wall like right next to the urinal and you gotta go in there and like dig something out you gotta fish something out of your hand <laughs> let's, let's see if you can be like uh, in Duke Nukem Forever where you can just use the bathroom you know well, this is it. This is it right here. <laughs> All that serious music, and then you're looking at a urinal. Well, this is the ring, pretty much. There better be a tampon dispenser in the women's restroom. I tell you what, let's do it. Better be a tamp. There better be a. Uh, why is there always a couch cushion or whatever? Because of gynocentric culture. When women have like nice furniture and stuff in the restrooms, that's because society favors women and pampers women. And it, doesn't, it, doesn't it suck how like women want guys to like them? They start acting like childish. That's not cool and that's not something to be proud of. Women don't have anything to be proud of because they don't have honor. Oh, but you're so critical of women. Oh, oh well, you must hate women. Well, dude, that's not even a valid point. Are you listening to what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So let's go. You know what? I've heard nightmare stories about like Walmart restrooms and stuff and how like the women's restrooms are actually worse than a lot of men's restrooms. Like when you go to the restrooms and like public restrooms, like yeah, like dudes will pee on the seat and that's gross and it sucks to have to like clean up the bathroom right after a dude. I mean, it just sucks. It sucks. And, and bathrooms should be segregated and I think schools should be segregated too for real heard like nightmares uh, like nightmare stories about women like um like pee on the seat in a women's restroom how does that like how does that work i think it's because they hover over the seat because they don't want to like have their butt touch the seat right but then like the way that the pee comes out it's like uh, it, it splatters everywhere you know because they need to be closer to the water when they're peeing but they end up peeing all over the seat and do they care about anything like repercussions and stuff no they don't like there, I saw this video this morning of a woman, like, she was shaving her legs at, like, a pool, like, a public pool. She was in a public pool, and she was shaving her legs in the public pool. That's not hygienic, and you're getting, like, little bits of hair and stuff in the pool, and, and it's incredibly selfish. What is wrong with women, just in general? What is wrong with them? I mean, like, there's gross men, too, you can say that, you know. I agree, there's, like... There's a lot of knuckle knucklehead guys out there too. I just feel like as a human species, we're just dumb as all get out. We need to be spiritually enlightened. We need to be like waking up and doing all you know, we need and a lot of us are, but there's not enough of us smart guys and you know, smart people. I like the atmosphere, I like the uh, like tampered metal look, you know. Yeah, what's going on in this room? It's kinda cool looking. Gonna be a zombie or something popping out. I don't know, but I, you know what? I'm not gonna like waste your time by like trying to. Uh, that's, that. that's where I came in, isn't it? I've I've recorded enough footage and like I gotta just call the shots by now because seriously, like I I don't know. I just checked out some bathrooms and just I mean at least this is a different section. Kitchen. This is where she needs to be. Let's go to the kitchen. It's where women belong. Come on, go. I think women don't want to be relegated to just one room because they want to like own the whole house so it's like oh you need to be in the man cave and like nobody takes offense to a man cave I do because you know what men typically own the houses that they live in so you know the whole house is the man house there should be a woman cave there should be you know what and that room is the bathroom that room is the bathroom her own bathroom it's not even as cool as the, the men's bathroom. The, man, the man's bathroom is just awesome. It's like a, a gold toilet and everything. And the woman's restroom is just a bucket with some sawdust in it. You're supposed to put a little bit of sawdust in there after you be in. To keep the, keep the smell at bay. You know, no running water for them, man. They don't need it. They don't need it. I thought about that before, man. I think um, doing that is probably a little bit less nasty than that chemical toilet blue stuff. It's just black screen now. I think the, the, the game just messed up. 
Are you serious? Are you kidding me? Oh, okay. It just took a long time to load, is all. Got my flashlight. Oh, I think I had to tap the uh, left button, that's why. Okay, the game's not messed up or anything like that. But, uh, I'm talking about chemical toilets. And sawdust. Pooping in a, um, in an old bucket. And sawdust in it. Or kitty litter. Kitty litter does the trick. Never done it myself, but, uh, thought about it many times. Oh, the thoughts that run through my head. Oh, the truth. The truth. You gotta, like, keep yourself from being genuine and stuff if you wanna go dating and stuff. You gotta, like, lie. You gotta be like, oh, no, you know, yeah, equal rights and everything. But, like, if you really think about it, man, women can't make good decisions, man, just as a whole, because they're collectivists. They don't care about men's rights at all. Do you, do you see women out there saying, oh, yeah, hey, let's stop circumcision? No, they're not. They only do stuff when there's self-interest, when there's uh, actual benefit for them. They, they have no genuine care or compassion about men's welfare at all. So why should I regard them? You know what I mean? For the longest time, I've, I've cared about women. Yeah, like I was trying to get like sexual access and stuff, but I grew up with sisters and stuff. And it's like we have this idealistic side to us as men where, you know, we want to make our parents proud we want to be the people that we want to be but i feel like society tries to put too much limitations on us they're like saying oh you need to be this and you need to do that and they put way too much of that on us but for women it's like you go girl you can do anything you can just take your guy to divorce court and everything you can just be just like some heathen you can just be hedonistic be hedonistic oh yeah you know i heard that alcoholism among women are just on the rise because they're not happy because uh, we're at the uh, death throes of society because women just, uh, they are, um, once they have the right to vote, that's when, you know, things are just, go so far downhill that when uh, men from other countries take over. And that's what's happening because us men in America, we are disenfranchised and we are not wanting to save women. There's a lot of, um, there's a lot of uh, blind men who have not woken up yet, the blue pill men, that are taking advantage of, uh, they, they think that being awesome to women is gonna get them somewhere, but it actually doesn't do anything. It just, uh, women are not gonna respect you at all because we live in a society that does not regard men at all. I mean, like, we're, just, we're the disposable gender, right? We're the ones that get carved up for no reason from childbirth. And then people want to act like they're enlightened and they know what's better for other people and everything like that. When that's bullcrap. Oh, hey, there's a there's a dude. Well, I had to shoot him. That guy. But, um, yeah. Yeah, man, it's just, uh, we're... we're declining as a uh, species we're just uh, dumb as a dumb as a pile of bricks and uh, this game I just keep getting attacked by birds I'm gonna die this way I think I see a door and I desperately need to go through it because this oh come on of course of course I hit a jaggy and I can't get it ah, ah. <laughs> It, yeah, if, if, if I complain, like, a little bit, like, I feel like people come out of the woodwork and they're like, oh, people don't like complainers and stuff, but, I mean, gosh darn it, this is my channel, man. You know? It, the way I see it is that, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm positive, like, the vast majority of the time, and if I have something to say and I get a little bit passionate about it or I get a little bit frustrated because I'm playing a bad game, it's my channel, I have the right to do so. And if you don't like it, you know where the door is. You know where that unsub button is. But, um... Yeah, I mean, back to point, though. Um, this game is not anything special. I uh, I think that its uh, unintentional funniness is a novelty, but it, uh, it's not worth playing because the um, what you have to do, the, the whole gameplay elements and stuff just being lost, it, it just doesn't, it doesn't hook you initially. There's no real tutorial. Um, I, I guess if you're playing by yourself and you're not recording the footage, you would uh, be a little bit more careful to read the, uh, the the whole the whole deal. Like you know, you know. I mean, they, they were kind of explaining what to do, but um, I don't know. Maybe, maybe you need to turn the brightness up a little bit. I feel like the brightness is already kind of high. You know, it's showing up pretty bright on the tablet, but. Uh, 
I, I didn't mean for this to be super long, but it's going to be. And I'm sorry, but uh, this is going to get a... F nah, man, it's like I, I don't want to say four. But, yeah, it just doesn't really have any kind of real charm or... And uh, I just don't like it personally, so like a, something weird, like a 3.6. There's better games to play. And yeah, uh, I totally don't recommend. There's way better games out there. So yeah, 3.6, I don't recommend. And yeah, I, I, I'm <laughs> I want to say thanks for watching. But this is not my best review. I feel like the first half is better than the second. I kind of got got a little bit negative. But I, I don't know. Truth is not negative. Truth isn't negative. But um, yeah. 3.6. Don't recommend. I'm going to just say it anyway. Thanks for watching. <laughs> you guys have a good one.